This tool is the best and easiest way to install Beat Saber mods. You can install custom songs, sabers, avatars, and even downgrade your version of Beat Saber. This program has been such a game changer for modding Beat Saber because it doesn't break when there's a Beat Saber update. So today, I'm gonna walk you through this amazing program and show you how to install it. First up, this tool is only for the Steam version of Beat Saber. So if you have a quest, you can still play the Steam version via Airlink or a link cable. But if you play the standalone version of Beat Saber, I have a separate tutorial for that in this link down below. So if you're new to modding Beat Saber on PC, then I highly, highly recommend this program. But if you're already an experienced modder, I also highly Highly, highly recommend that you try out this program. To install it, head to the link down below or Google BS Manager, and it's a GitHub page, so you just need to navigate to the Assets page and download the .exe file or the .zip file. This will then download to your computer. So in your Downloads folder, just find the file and install it. Once it launches, it'll then show you all these different Beat Saber versions. So you just want to select the Beat Saber version you want. I'm currently running version 1.29.1 .1 because the latest update doesn't support mods. But check the pinned comment down below. I'll try and keep that up to date to let you know which is the best version to install. And once you select the version you want to install, it'll then prompt you to log in with your Steam account. This is to make sure you own the game and to stop pirate. Arrgh. Once it's all installed, it should look like this. And what's great about this program, it lets you install multiple versions of Beat Saber. So you can install the original Beat Saber from 2018 if you want to. This is a great tool because everyone knows that when Beat Saber releases an update, it breaks all the mods, which can be very frustrating. So this tool allows you to run different versions, so you can always just launch an older version and not have to worry about updates breaking your game. And it's also super easy to switch between the versions as well, so if you want to check out a new update and then go back to an old one, it totally works fine. It also has a shared library, so for all your custom songs and models, you can access them between the different versions as well, which is really cool. But what's also great is you can download songs, mods, and models directly within this program. To do that, just select the version you want to play, and then navigate to the top of the screen where it says Maps, Models, and Mods. I recommend starting out at Mods first. There's a bunch of mods already pre-selected for you, some of these are compulsory, but I recommend just keeping what is selected. But if you do want to install some mods, I highly recommend Saber Factory for custom sabers, Cinemas to watch film clips, Mapping extensions and noodle extensions to play the really cool Beat Saber maps, Score Saber to track your score, Chroma for beautiful colored maps, Beat Together to verse your quest friends, Better Song Search for more accurate searching, Song Browser to actually search for songs, or Enhancements if you want to change any settings of the game. You can read the descriptions of the mod to see what they all do, but if you don't see many mods available, it might be because you need to downgrade your version to an older one. Once you're happy with your mod selections, just select Install or Update in the bottom right hand corner. And make sure you watch the super cute Beat Saber blocks as it bounces along the bottom as it installs. Aww. Now if you want to install custom sabers, custom blocks, custom platforms, or avatars, then we want to navigate to the back to the top of the screen and select Models. From here you can see what already installed or you can press the plus button to download some new ones. If you see a red broken chain that means that your models aren't working across versions. It's worth clicking on that if you want your models to work across different versions of Beat Saber. You can search for a particular model or just scroll through the library and once you find one you like you just want to hover over the page and select the download icon. A word of warning though the more models you download the more problems you may have especially with platforms. I find platforms to be very buggy so if you have issues with it it's not too too surprising. Now if the models don't work at all, it may be that you don't have the right mods, so head back to the mod screen and have a look through the cosmetics list and make sure you got the right mods needed to install those models. Now for custom songs. If we navigate back to the top of the page to maps, this is where we can see our current library. But to download more, we press the little plus button and then from there we can search the library or search for a particular song we want. You can use filters to search for a particular genre or a particular style of map you want to play, or you can choose to search by latest or relevancy or the rating of a song. Once you find a song you like, you can just hover over the song and in the top right hand corner there's a download icon and then that will download straight to your Beat Saber library. You can also press the eye icon if you want to preview the map and see what it looks like before downloading. There's also a Twitch icon if you want to request that song in someone's Twitch stream. Twitch.tv forward slash Nazy. Once you're happy with your downloads, you can navigate back to the launch screen and select the big launch button. You can also choose Oculus mode if you're using like a Quest headset so you can bypass all the Steam VR stuff. And once it's launched, you should have that version all installed with all its mods and models and custom songs. And next time there's a Beat Saber update, you can still continue to launch that version 
version and have no issues. Now if you do launch the game from Steam, it's going to always launch that newer version. So I always recommend launching Beat Saber from BS Manager because it's always going to launch the version you want. If you want to check out different versions of Beat Saber, you just press the plus button in the bottom left hand corner of the program and then choose which version you want to install. So you can have like a ton of different versions, which is really cool. You can also select the settings and play around with some stuff there. You can change the colors of the program, which is really cool. You can also change the theme to dark mode or light mode. And I also recommend enabling one click install. So if you use different Beat Saber websites, if you click on something to download, it will just auto download to that library and all sync up. So it's worth enabling. And finally, if you think this program is cool like I do, the developers do have a Patreon if you want to support them. They make this stuff all for free, so the community support goes a long way. And if you've got any questions about this tool, you can come join my Discord and I'll do my best to help you out. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video.